Are you looking for a free and engaging way to get your kids learning how to type? Well, in this video, we're going to go over Typing Club and I'm going to give you an in-depth review and my personal thoughts on it. So let's get started. is one program that I decided to add into my kiddos daily curriculum this year. Why did I include Typing Club for my kinder, second, and third grader this year? Well, my third grader will be taking the end of your California state test and it's done on the computer and does require some writing portions, which would mean that my student would have to type. So to make sure that he's fully comfortable when taking this test at the end of the school year, I wanted to give him some typing lessons. Now, once my oldest decided to do it, my younger two also wanted to start doing Typing Club. So luckily, Typing Club goes all the way from pre-readers to adult. The last reason I wanted to introduce typing is that I really value computer literacy in our homeschool. So typing is just one of those basic things you have to know how to do, whether you're using a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, because it all has that same keyboard. So I want them to know where all those letters are and how to use it. So what is Typing Club? Typing Club is a 100% free online typing program. So they will take kids from pre-readers and start teaching them the letters of the alphabet and show them where they are on the keyboard, all the way to the beginning, the home row, and to the entire keyboard for older students. The pricing for Typing Club is completely free. They do have a pro version, but this is more geared towards schools, especially like school districts. So it allows the school district to have an account and then have multiple different schools and put all of their students. But with a free basic account, you still get so many awesome features. I'll put a list here that shows what the free and what the pro options are. But as you can see, being able to have multi-school management or attempting playback, if you're homeschooling, you can easily watch your student do the typing, so you don't really need to worry about playback. The pro version also has no ads, but Typing Club, I'm typically really against programs that have ads. I know that's how they make their money, um, but I don't mind it if it's in a very low profile way and Typing Club does this. The Typing Club ads are off to the side or down at the bottom, not in the way. So I don't really have to worry about my kids clicking on them because they're focused on their typing lesson, not looking at the couple of different ads around the screen. All right, so let's take a look at some of the programs that Typing Club has to offer. First up is Typing Jungle, and this is your basic learn to type curriculum that starts with the F and J keys and works its way all, this, all the way through learning sentences and being able to type. They focus on not looking at the keyboard, but looking up at your screen. And it's just very, very simple and basic, but very effective. If you have younger students that don't even know what their letters are yet, they have Jungle Junior. And this is going to introduce all the letters on the keyboard and allow students to know where they are and start learning, this is the A, the A says at. Um, so I really like how they added kind of a pre-reader option to this, which is really awesome. With Typing Jungle, students will go through the lessons and based on how well they do, they will earn one to five stars. And so the goal is to get five stars. They don't have to get five stars to move on, but Typing Jungle does recommend trying to aim for five stars for most of the lessons before moving on too far. For Jungle Junior, it's completion based. Once the student does it, there's no stars, they can move on. And my kindergartner actually went through this program really quickly. I went back and looked at some of the reports and his total time on the Jungle Junior was three hours. Obviously this was not all in one day. This was actually over like a month or two. One newer feature that I have seen, at least new to me, I didn't see this last year, but maybe it was there and hidden, but they now have typing for grades one through five. So instead of starting your student at typing jungle, where they start with those beginning keys, they're still starting with those beginning keys, but some uh, like first grades is going to go a little bit slower, but it's also going to try to incorporate, there are lessons that have you type out a short paragraph or a short sentence, depending on the level. And so with the typing grades one through five, the first grade, they're going to pick things that correlate to some standards, maybe in science or history. So there might be a science standard and they're gonna be typing words like weather, or temperature or different things that correlate to things that they should be learning in other subjects. So I do like how it's a little bit cross-curricular and that my students are able to 
also get some other standards other than just typing. The next program that Typing Club offers, which I'm having my third grader get started on, is the vocabulary and spelling. So this program is focusing on vocabulary and spelling words while also having your student type. So this is something I would recommend that you do if your student either A, already knows how to type so that they could do just the spelling and vocab and not have to be doing any of the other programs. But if you, again, the program, the, everything's free, so you get all the programs. So if they are doing spelling and vocab, maybe they're doing typing jungle at the same time. Or maybe they're doing the typing for third grade and then also the third grade spelling and vocab. That's what I'm having my third grader start doing is both of those simultaneously. The spelling and vocab introduces different stories and really is trying to expand the vocabulary while teaching them how to spell different words and also spelling basic sight words. All right, the next few programs I have not had my students try yet, so I don't have direct experience with these, but I did want to mention them in case you're interested. The first one is animated story typing. I did try one of these lessons just to see what it was, and basically you are typing out a story. So basically you should be reading as you go. Um, so this is definitely one that you're going to want a student to do if they've already kind of mastered either their grade level or typing jungle. But what it's going to do is going to help them be focused on the story they're typing and reading rather than looking at the keyboard. So that's really important to note is that you really want them to kind of be distracted by the story that they're reading so that their fingers will just glide across the keyboard. I think that's the intention with these, um, but the stories looked pretty basic, but again, not, I wouldn't say they were super like easy words to do if you weren't already familiar with all of the keys on the keyboard. They do have another program called DC Typing for grades three through eight, and this focuses on digital citizenship. So in this program, they're still working on their typing skills, but they're gonna be introduced to some more tech words like programmer or coding, and they're gonna be typing those words. But they're also gonna have little videos that are gonna say, you know, never share your passwords, how do you know if a site is reliable, and different things to that nature. So it's kind of, they're still practicing those typing skills, but they're also learning some basic internet computer literacy. A few other programs they have is right-handed typing and left-handed typing. So if you have a student that has some sort of disability where they would only be able to have one hand, they can practice using that program. And they do also have typing practice with different types of keyboards, such as the DVORK versus the QWERTY, which is the standard English typing program. All right, the last couple of features I do want to mention is that you do have access to a teacher dashboard. So that way, if you have multiple students, you will be able to see what, what they've been doing, how fast words per minute they're typing, and keep track of when they're practicing. Also on this teacher dashboard, you have the ability to change some of the settings. If your student has any disabilities, you can mark those off, and that way the program will adjust based on their disability. My overall review of Typing Club is, first, it's free, and it's awesome. So you can't really go wrong. When something is free and it is as easy to use and gamified and makes it fun for the kids, I mean, I have no complaints about it at all. This year, I am having my students complete um, a lesson or two of Typing Club every single day, just as part of their learning, so that way they, they get a little bit of practice throughout the entire year. Have your kids started learning to type yet? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more homeschool content just like this. See you next time.